Alright, good afternoon. I wanted to make a screencast today talking about common core standards and learning targets and how to make kid-friendly learning targets from the common core standards. A learning target is much more than saying I can refer to details and examples in a text when explaining what the text says explicitly and when drawing inferences from the text. Our job as teachers is to come up with a way to make that in a language that a kid will understand what is expected of them or a student will understand what is expected of them when they come in the classroom. First thing I want us to do to do that is to um, break down the standard a little bit. I'm going to highlight some of the nouns in the standard in yellow, like details, examples, text. Text is there a couple of times. Um, inferences and text is there. Those are important words. We can take the nouns and some of the verbs in the sentence and come up with a different way to say the same thing but to try to say it in a way that kids will understand. So we want kids to refer. We want kids to explain. We want kids to be explicit. And we want them drawing those inferences, okay? So let's take our nouns and our verbs and come up with another way to say the same thing but in a way that kids might understand. I know the words giving examples from the text, referring to details from the text, explaining. So let's try this. I can explain what I read. I can explain what I read would be one way to reword that standard into a learning target that kids would actually understand. There's other ways. We could go one step further and take, I can explain what I read, and break it down just a little bit more. If the kids aren't 100% sure on what explain means, explain, another way to say explain is to tell all about. So, let's break it down in even simpler language for our students. I can tell all about what I read. Would be another way to say the same thing about this particular learning target. But we're not done. There's, inter there's examples in there of including details from what we read. So let's find another way to word that so our students can come and do that as well. All right, when you look at the word infer, infer means to read between the lines or to take a guess. If your students aren't sure what infer means, you could try to reword it another way with a synonym for infer, like um, predict. So they could, I can, let's go ahead and type it. I can make predictions about what I read. These aren't the only ways to break this down, but this is just an example of how to go through step by step and take the Common Core Standard and put it in kid-friendly language to give the kids a clear idea of what's expected of them and what they're supposed to learn. Um, I hope I taught you something today, and we'll try this again soon. Thanks for tuning in. May the apps be with you.